Okay, and then the last one, find the value of x. So here, um, here you can't say that these chords are congruent, so you'd have to say that they're equal distant like that. Then I can say that this chord is congruent to this chord, and then you're going to make them equal to each other. 2x minus 10 equals x plus 2. Then this will be x equal to 12. Okay. So here, again, since we know that um, the chords are equidistant to the center, the chords will be congruent. So I just made them equal, equal to each other. 2x minus 10 equal to x plus 2. And then you get x equals 12. And then the next one. Here, um, this is this, the diameter, and because it's passing through the center, and that's the center right there, and it's perpendicular to this chord. So then I know that this chord and this chord are congruent, or I'm sorry, this segment and this segment are congruent. The chord is bisected. So then, 4x minus 1 is going to be equal to. 6x minus 9. Okay, so I'm going to add the 9 here. That's going to give me 8 equals, subtract the 4x. It's 2x there. You divide the 2. So x is going to equal 4. Okay, there's my value of x. And again, the diameter is perpendicular to the chord, so therefore the chord is bisected. And um, these little arcs are also congruent. Okay, so that is it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educated.com.